Vidushi Daga welcome you to this very very interesting topic with Hem Virtues where I am going to show you how with fearlessness we can integrate technology. So let us start. Technology is here to stay. Now do you know there are curriculums okay in Stanford University and lots and lots of other universities where they are integrating technology with value education. So why not we also embrace technology in a beautiful manner rather than disgracing it. So let me talk about something where I want to tell you a small story where you will be enlightened on how you can be fearless while using technology. I would like to talk about cyberbullying over here. Now, do you know what is cyberbullying? When bullying integrates with technology, it is called as cyberbullying. Now, cyberbullying can happen in various forms, which we will talk about in the next few seconds. But it takes place over digital devices like smartphones, computers, gaming consoles, iPads, tablets, etc. All right. It can also occur through any kind of SMS that is sent, any kind of social media, like if you are on WhatsApp, on Facebook, etc. And any people who are bullying you online, it is called as cyberbullying. Now, I would like to give you a few examples. So, example when people are sending mean text, okay, photoshopping pictures. Everybody remembers the movie PK with Amir Khan holding a tape recorder? Yes. So, when you are photoshopping pictures and then, you know, so children were photoshopping that picture of Amir Khan's face with their friend's picture, it is also considered as cyberbullying, okay. If you are creating any fake profiles, if you are posting any fight videos online, if you are spreading any gossips and rumors and in case you are posting any embarrassing pictures, sending any threatening comments, it is all considered as cyberbullying. Let me tell you a small story of a 13 year old girl in America whose name is Amanda Todd. Okay, now what she did, like every child, she used to like chatting on social media. So she started chatting on Facebook with this 15 year old teenager, okay, who, who said he was very handsome, he was blonde, okay, and chatting, chatting, they started getting a little close. Now when they got close, the boy said, show, show me how much you love me, Amanda. So, Amanda sent a topless picture to that boy. Now, that boy made that picture as the profile picture of Amanda and the DP and circulated it in her entire school. The next day when she went to school, the teachers didn't support her. That time, even the friends didn't support her. They said, Amanda, you should drink bleach, you should die and so on. Now, Amanda's parents got very concerned because Amanda got very scared, okay? So, what they did? They shifted Amanda's school, they shifted the city, but that stalker, you know who is a stalker? Stalker is a person who is following you even without your knowledge, okay, online. So, that stalker followed her to the new city, to the new school. Now, what happened over there? They again started chatting. Again, he made that DP, circulated it in the new school. Amanda got very scared and she was petrified and depressed. She didn't know what to do. All right. But after two attempts, okay, third attempt, she successfully suicided. Now, before dying, okay, before suiciding, what she did, she made a short YouTube video which is still there on YouTube where she didn't say a single word but she kept putting flashcard after flashcard regarding what had happened to her, how she was mentally tortured and then taken on to suicide. 
all right now here i want to tell you of course youtube had taken down the video but then the mother told that no this has to be a lesson for the rest of the children in a, in the world so that they are not scared of what is happening they face the situation and they find the right solution they report the problem they tell who has been following and so on and so forth and then it is solved okay but i just want to tell you the main climax of the story is that that man who portrayed to be the 15 year old boy he was a 52 year old man who had created the fake profile so all my children i request you in case if you are talking to someone whom you don't know all right what you have to do is always remember zip it as in keep your personal details private okay flag it always share with someone whom you trust anything that is happening with you online and if you are chatting with someone whom you don't know i request you to tell someone your friend your parents your teachers anyone whom you trust you must always confide in them all right and block it in case you think that anyone is you know if anyone is troubling you a lot you just have to block that person all right clear everyone so i request you to remain safe online and make sure that you are talking to your parents or your teachers in case anything goes wrong you are saving the evidence don't be scared because technology is here to stay and we are going to make sure that we are going to remove all your fearlessness and make you a confident person so all the best everyone and stay safe